right, guys. Welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today in the Ask SSM video series, got an email from a subscriber. He is 21 years old, and recently he started dating a gal. She is 21 years old, four years younger than him, and according to him, a nine in the looks and body type department. And I might add, she gives him anything he wants in the bedroom, and he was quite clear on that. The only thing is, as it turns out, her job, she happens to be a, wait for it, a stripper. And he wants to know my opinion on the subject. Should he keep dating her the whole nine yards? Now, he made it clear from the get-go, as you're going to see, this dude is not a relationship guy at all. And he certainly is not a marriage guy. But even still, he's dating this gal. She's a stripper. She's a nine. And he obviously knows, you know, what can go along with that whole thing. He wants to know my opinion, what I think about the whole particular thing. So, I'm going to go over his email here. It's definitely interesting. And then I will share my view on the subject and we'll go from there. So, he says, uh, Dear SSM, I'm going to start off this by saying I am not a relationship guy. No joke. Every time I go to a wedding, I end up sick. Only one, one time was from drinking way too much. Yeah, bro, I am right there with you. I hate going to weddings for obvious reasons. I only go if it's a family member or friend. And even then, I'm just sitting there counting the minutes until the uh, wedding cake is served, have multiple slices of cake, and I'm gone. Sitting there listening to bullshit vows and the bullshit maid of honor speech or the uh, the other one. What the hell is he called? The best man speech. They're all stupid. Yeah, I can't. I hate it. Anyway, it says here, I started seeing this girl. She's at least a nine and four years younger than me. She's kind, caring, fun, always honest, and gives me anything I want in the bedroom. And he makes a point to say in parentheses, and I mean everything. The thing is, she's a, wait for it guys, a stripper. I'm 25, so most girls my age are looking towards marriage and putting on the good girl act. So even if they like you, they are unlikely to put out as they do, as if they do, it's the bland starfish SEX. To try to hide their past and who they really are, which often leads to cheating. Well, that's because they are, he said, like, around your age, so you're 25, they are in a husband-searching mode. They've done their wild thing in high school and college and early 20s. Now they're putting on, as you say, the good girl act to find a husband, to try to find some sucker who is not going to question their past and all that. And those guys get the bare minimum because they're not really attracted to those types because the guys they really like will get anything. Like your stripper friend is giving you anything. But uh, I guarantee if your stripper friend was looking for a nice guy husband, he wouldn't get everything. My thoughts are it's better to be with a younger, hotter girl who gives me anything I want and know where I stand with her. Rather than being with a normal girl who hides who she is and offers the minimum she can get away with despite it being more work to get it. Well, brother, I have news for you. I guarantee you there are things about your your girl or the girl you're dating, she's not your girlfriend, that she's got skeletons in her closet. Trust me. Okay, there are things about her you don't know and probably don't want to know. So don't think, even though she's upfront about who she is as a stripper and all that and whatever, there are still skeletons in her closet. It says, my bros are split on the issue with some seeing the benefits. Others think I'm being stupid and think I should date the type of girl looking for marriage. I'm curious what your thoughts are on the matter. Thanks for taking the time to read this and keep up the good work. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for sending in because this is a unique type of question. So I thought I'd be going to cover. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to say a good job for hooking up with a nine, even if she's a stripper. And I'm sure you're having a good old time. And uh, the thing is this. I've made this clear a lot of times. I'll say this again. In my opinion, given what I do, and given the fact that I'm almost 45 and I've been around the block, nines and tens in today's world are not girlfriend, not relationship material or wife material because they are so freaking demanding and think they're so fucking entitled to everything. And the egos are in the stratosphere. And I'm sure many of you guys that have dated darn good looking women have been around them know what I'm talking about. These types can have dudes like that and have no problem replacing your ass if you just blink wrong. And they bring all sorts of turmoil and drama. And even the guys that had their shit together, really what a guy could be classified as a high value guy, and not only in his career and resources and money, but also in terms of his confidence and who he is, even they are dealing with a handful. It just isn't worth it. 
you know? So I would say this, that even though you are hooking up with a nine and you're having a good time with that, as long as it could be truly casual, friends with benefits, hooking up, that's one thing. But if you're actually looking to get into a relationship with her, I think it's a bad idea because obviously what does she do for a living? She's there entertaining other dudes. And I don't know her, okay? I don't know her, I don't know you, but these gals typically also make money doing more than just dancing. And you get my point. And you guys have been to a gentleman's club are well aware of this, particularly in certain uh, places like Las Vegas and other ones that they do offer extra bonuses for extra money, if you know what I mean. And if, so you have to be very careful about her, what you may get from her, the whole nine yards. I can't stress this enough that if you're going to date her, to always wear protection. Always, for, again, obvious reasons. Because, one, if she's doing other activities to make money, and uh, it could be, that could be it, you don't want to catch anything. End of story. Another thing is, is that uh, you obviously don't want to get her pregnant. Okay, because this is not, no offense, this is not wife material. This isn't, you know, you, you do you want your, no offense, but you want your potential child one day to be, mom do this for a living. I don't know if she's doing this part time while she's maybe going to school to bring in a ton of money to finance school. I don't know. Or she's looking to do this forever. Or at least until she's, you know, no longer physically desirable when she probably crosses into her early 30s. But uh, bear in mind that, in my opinion, in my experience, Eventually, all gals want a ring on their finger. I don't care who they are, what they say, they will eventually. So, it's possible one day she's going to try to, if you stay with her, and so you got in a relationship with her, she might want more. And I don't want you to be trapped into something by accidentally the condom broke, or you you get my point, okay? So, you got to be careful. Or, she... Um, does other things to, you know, she, you're together long enough and you start having feelings for her and she knows how to manipulate that. I want you to be careful. I can't stress that enough. So if you want to date her casually and you wear protection and you understand that it is casual, then I say, knock yourself off, have a good time, but be careful. Okay. It's not what I would do, but I also get that you're 25 and I'm almost 44 and I have a lot more life experience. To me, it's just not worth it. But I also get, like I said, you're 25. I honestly wouldn't do it. Okay. I, a few times, fine. You had fun and I'd walk. But uh, just not what I would do at this point in my life. But I know you're 25, different stage in your life. So if you're going to do it anyway, be extremely careful and keep it casual. Do not get attached because if you get attached... Then this is your girlfriend. And quite honestly, this is not what I would want as a girlfriend. That's just me personally. And some people may have issue with that. But uh, I just don't think that would be the right way to go. But like I said, she's 21. She's in her prime. I mean her fucking prime. 21 years old. And you're having a great time and everything. But in time, you know, she say she does this all through her 20s. and makes a ton of money. And she's actually not dumb and saves her money, invests it, whatever. She's going to stop when she gets to be 30s and do something else. And she might want to settle down by then. So just be aware of those things. But since you watch this channel regularly, you know. And here's the deal, guys. A lot of guys I've known in my life, as well as guys who write me in stories, say they're not relationship guys. And that worked for the, the gals that they dated that were 6s, 7s, and 8s. But then a guy all of a sudden starts dating, hooking up with a 9 or a 10. And all of a sudden... They start changing their ways. All of a sudden, that nine looks pretty damn good to have as a serious girlfriend. Because aside from obviously being attracted to her and, and the fun in the sack, because let's be honest, the hotter she is, the more fun it is in the bedroom, let's be honest here. And also the fact that every dude, you're the envy of all the dudes around you. Now, personally, I could give a fuck what any other guy thinks, but that's a big ego boost for guys. So they may start changing their mind when they start getting attached to that nine or ten. So just be careful with that if you're going to be with her. But if you think you're going to start getting attached to her, you won't be able to control that, I would cut it off. End of story. But uh, if not, have your fun. And maybe eventually you'll say, you know what, this isn't for me. She's cool. We have a good time together. And by the way, I get back to the whole thing about, uh, yes, the gals nowadays, like around your age, they're looking to settle. They have their wild phase, the carousel phase. Now they're looking to settle and find that nice guy. And so you're thinking, and your friends are thinking, well, why would I want to date them? 
you know. But the odds are you're the type of guy that those types would give you extra stuff just to get you because they'd probably be able to tell you're more of the uh, the, the, the bad boy type that's not going to settle. So they would do more because those types you're talking about your age would probably do way more to try to, to rope you in than the average nice guy. So you could have your fun with gals that aren't like her, but still, it is different. So just be careful, bro. Always wear protection no matter what. And the second you start uh, catching feelings, as the saying goes, whatever, I might it might be time to part ways. So anyhow, have a good time. Just stay safe. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let this guy know what you think. Any of you guys out there that have dated gals that did that, that were dancers, strippers, whatever you want to call them, let this guy know. I'm sure there's somebody out there that dated them and knew. And also, let this guy know any potential issues or problems that you may have dealt with or he can anticipate. You never know. All you got, We're all helping each other out here. There's guys that have had experience in things I've had experience in. So definitely by you commenting, definitely helps out. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.